just like a picture on the wall And now I know how to steer I'm not afraid if I should fall, yeah It took some tears, oh, but together we were strong And now I feel a burning beat Hi guys, so today what I thought I'd do is a review of the Garnier Moisture Bond Mask. I got the green one which is more for sensitive skin. I did get a pink one which is the normal one for a friend and she's used it and she's raved about it. I have done a lot of face masks as you know and I will actually link them below. But I'm using the Garnier Moisture Bomb um, for sensitive skin. So I have kind of put a little picture in in the next segment so you'll see it. And I thought I'd do it as I've been in work. I'm not actually going out now so I'm staying in for the evening. And that's what I would recommend. Um, I know some people do a mask and then they put a full face and makeup on but actually your pores are really open um, and then you're putting on your foundation and everything else and then the whole day you're kind of you're going through that having had your a really nice kind of facial so just my personal um recommendation you don't have to but I would always kind of do any kind of moisture you know intense kind of face mask especially one that has a lot of serum like these ones um kind of when you haven't got anywhere to go so as you can see I'm just recovering and I do want you to see no makeup today because I these are just kind of healing um, and I tend to get them around that kind of t-zone area and um, so now that they're on the healing side I will do the face mask um so basically it's a peel off mace mask it, there's a sheet over it and then what you do is you um peel off the blue part leave the sheet on for 15 minutes um, and then you take it off and you use that excess serum you just you don't rub it away you actually rub it into your skin that's the only reason I would say after you fully massage that in just give your skin a night or a day to kind of just really absorb it all and the next day your kind of your skin has had a chance to kind of recoup things like that and um, so you can see my skin is in an okay and um, okay condition they are on the kind of um my my kind of breakouts are on the healing side and you can see this actual green mask also said for evening out your skin tone and as you can see with me I have red patches just randomly around my skin this is just me out of the shower so um, you can see I do kind of tend to get that kind of effect after having water on my face and I used my Neutrogena exfoliator I haven't put any cream or moisturizer on yet just because there is so much serum in this particular mask but I was so excited to kind of use it because um, especially for sensitive skin it says that you have a week's worth of moisture in it so I will kind of let you know my thoughts afterwards um so what we'll do now is i'll show you in the next segment what it looks like there's instructions on the back so if you've never used it before but i will go through it with you and let's start so this is what it looks like you would have seen um, a picture of it a moment ago um, it's the Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask Super Hydrating Rebalancing Mask, which is definitely what I need because I do get red areas. My pores are often quite large as well. Now, I know these kind of look like they're still existing, but they have healed. They're on the healing side. Just got a bobbin because I've lost my little, um, I kind of had a spa kind of hairband. So I'm just going to pop this up quickly. Um, and I'll show you the steps at the back in a moment. So you kind of unfold the mask carefully and apply it while the tissue um, kind of... The white tissue side, so there's a blue and a white side basically, so it just shows you at the back. Um, so you just um, unfold the mask, carefully apply the white tissue to your thoroughly cleansed skin, which I've done. I've used my Neutrogena um, Daily Exfoliating. Make sure the blue protective film is facing outwards and smooth the mask gently to ensure contact with the skin. Remove the protective film, it's this one here. Um, Adjust the mask contours on the face and leave for 15 minutes to remove the mask, peel off slowly from the edges and gently massage in. It does say, it kind of stresses the point, don't rinse off the serum, massage it into your skin. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I do like masks, I have to say, and I will link the ones I have done below. I do a lot of the super drug masks, but the Garnier Skin Active, I think all my friends have been raving about it. I've seen a lot of YouTube reviews um, and I just thought for my skin, I'd try the... Um, super hydrating kind of rebalancing one and it does say as I said in the beginning one mask is equal to a week of um, hydrating active ingredients and it always says dermatologically tested so what we're going to do now is open it somebody asked me before if I could do a cruelty free um, mask which I'm very interested to do guys and I hope this is I'm not I will have a lot you know I, I will have a look at that and um, so we're just going to rip the top it's quite easy to rip and then you just Take it out at the top. I've never used a sheet mask as such before. You could, guys, you can really feel the amount of serum on this is quite intense. Um, so I'm just going to keep the kind of instruction part up. I'm going to, so it does say the blue part has to face outwards. I'm just struggling to kind of see which is the blue part. So I can see where it goes. Okay, the white, I see. White part, blue part. 
um, and the blue part has to be facing outwards, which I'm presuming, guys, is this side. Okay, so we're going to, I've kind of popped my hair back. And we're just going to start to place it on the face now. And I have a mirror here just in front of me. I'm going to just do it this side. Okay. Now, it smells beautiful, guys. So I'm just going to place it, and it probably will take everybody is individual in terms of placing it on the face. And I am taking my time, guys, just so it all kind of gets, and I'm really just slowly around the eyes because that's really important if it's going to be on for 15 minutes. And then the nose, bring that down the face. The amount of serum, guys, is, I can really, really feel it. My goodness. Just gently bring that upwards. I would do it until it gets really comfortable for you, particularly as a sheet mask is a bit more enveloping to the face. Now, it says carefully remove this. I've got it here. I'm just going to be really careful. What I'll do for time's purposes is I'll remove the white or the blue part and then, yes, I'll remove the blue part from the top now, just off screen and I'll For come anyone back. who wants to see, I've just got the top and I'm starting to peel it down. I've kept mine in the fridge, guys, so it really is very cooling. Very, very cooling. Feels absolutely just so relaxing. And also, guys, sometimes there's an over, a kind of an overpowering smell with masks and there's a slight clinical smell, but nothing kind of, nothing overpowering to the point where you'd find it kind of irritating. Wow. Okay. It does feel really, the serum is just unbelievable. So what I'll do is, um, sorry guys, I know talking with this is probably not ideal. I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes and then I'll come back. Okay. And that's just the blue part that you do are instructed to remove. So I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes. And just to let you know, they have a little bit on their philosophy, which I'll read to you after the 15 minutes, um, which is the kind of the aims behind this. Okay, so I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, guys, so it's been 15 minutes. The serum is just unbelievable, guys. Now, the good thing about this is, and it's surprising, it's non-drip, which I was surprised about because the amount you can feel, and even as I was taking this off, even on this, a lot of it has actually stuck to it. But it's non-drip, I'm absolutely fine. It's been 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is just start from the top because it kind of shows, again, in the steps, and I will do a close-up for you, you start from the top and slowly, slowly take it off. Again, just a reminder, it's not... Um, a wash off so you can excess serum can be rubbed in oh guys it's just it's very good what I'm going to do is because I had my hair down I'll quickly just tie it up just so as you can see to try and prevent any sticking sorry guys excuse me being in my PJs too because I just thought this is a perfect time because I personally prefer not having to put makeup on after you've done like a really nice facial give your kind of skin a, t a kind of chance to kind of heal overnight not heal but kind of just relax overnight so I can feel and I it's probably not that obvious on camera but I can feel how much serum is left so I'm just going to kind of really rub that in just guys I would highly highly recommend it um, and the good thing about this is that they have taken into account, okay, some people are going to have sensitive skin, some people's pores are going to be enlarged and they want to reduce them. Some people are going to have discoloration, so redness here, maybe paler here, which I have. So this one in particular as is um, Super Hydrating Rebalancing Mask. Leave it on for 15 minutes, which I've just done. Um, normal to combination skin, one mask is equal to one um, week of hydrating active ingredients for your skin. So I... I'm actually currently on my midterms because the primary school have closed where I work because the children have their exams next week so they have kind of a week off. So I'm not going to be putting too much coverage or makeup on this week apart from recording. So it's kind of a good time if you're kind of on a weekend or something like that where you have some time just to really um, kind of dedicate to your skin. So I, so I've, all I've done there is just used one thing, 
on one finger on both sides just to give it that extra attention instead of kind of rubbing it all over the face and then kind of having it all over your hands. So yes, um, I really, guys, I really like it. It probably isn't an immediate kind of, I do feel an immediate difference, but I'm not sure if you can see an immediate change. Um, I wanted to just tell you about um, their kind of philosophy. They say wherever wherever possible, we use ingredients sourced from nature, antioxidants, and combine them with well-known skincare act activities. Um, a scientifically proven effectiveness verified to work under realistic usage conditions. So I think what they mean by that is we know you're not always going to be able to do this. And sometimes when you do this, you're going to have to kind of rush out again. So they're taking into account environmental factors, I think, in that sense. Um, optimal tolerance with products dermatologically tested to suit all skin types, even sensitive. Um, so as again, I said, I got the pink one from my friend and she has really nice skin combination, not combination, sorry. So I think that one would have been really, really good for her. Um, and even guys, if I look into this, um, I think to about here, there is still serum. So you could kind of add that into your daily routine kind of I mean, a few nights afterwards. So my um, my recommendation for this product is that I would recommend it. Um, again, I like the fact that they have variations. Um, so if you don't want the super hydrating and you feel like actually my skin is fine, use the pink one, which is just a rebalancing moisture. This is more um, super hydrating. So yes, absolutely. I think what I might see is um, in the morning how my skin looks. Is there a refresh? Because I won't do a nighttime routine. Um, so um, I think this, because it's so much serum, I won't put on my night serum just because <laughs> it just, um, it might kind of just kind of almost overload my skin. So yes, um, I highly recommend it. Mine was available in Superdrug, um, but they do them in Boots. They do them in most um, chemists and pharmacies, things like that. Um, yes, highly recommend it. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I'll show the links below where you can get it. And also I'll show you the pictures of the variations. So they do a pink one, they do a green one. I think there's a blue one, but I will look that up and put it in the end for the video for you. Um, and I think the blue one might be, that might be actually a really intensive mask as far as I know. It's one kind of deeper than this one, which is for um, rebalancing. So yes, highly recommend it, guys. Thank you for watching. And typical Kira style, I've forgotten to just show you something quickly. Um, so I know I've ended the video technically, but my hair is down for a reason. Um, I find a lot, if you go to the salon, your hair, obviously it's expensive. You're kind of, you're doing hair a hair colour in particular or a cut and com combined sometimes it can come up to 80 or 90 pounds and what they then try and do not that they try they try to advise you and I know a lot of L'Oreal can be quite expensive and I did have you know the it, the mythic hair oil is that what it's called um, and I was trying and I, I loved it don't get me wrong I got it on a discount because they were doing a special um, but then I found who can afford like 20 pounds a time not many people um, so what I found was a alternative. It's Pantene, it's Repair and Protect. Um, and you can use it um, dry or wet hair. Um, I sometimes let my hair dry naturally, which I have today, um, because I know I'm not gonna be going out again. Um, so this is the Pantene Repair and Protect Dry Oil with Vitamin E for damaged hair. Now, I don't particularly have damaged hair. However, I do use my straighteners. I do use my hair dryer a lot. So I presume, you know, that does kind of dry out the hair. So it does say you can, the only the difference with this oil is too, is that it says it does promote to, to kind of bring it up to the roots. So I thought as I was doing kind of a facial, that kind of thing, I could do this too. And hopefully, because I used to have really curly hair as a child, and I'll just kind of put some on my palm while we're talking. Um, I used to have quite curly hair as a child. And what I'm trying to do is kind of bring back the natural, kind of, um, I think over time, I colored my hair a lot. I think when I was 16, it was red. Then it was some other color at 70, I know, 17. So um, what they suggest is rub it into your hands, work from the bottom. Um, and so that's what I'm doing, just kind of combing it through the hair. And then really, uh, um, it does promote, bring it up to the, kind of bring it up to the top and then um, leave that in. It, my hair at the minute is kind of half dry, half wet, so it's a good time because it'll have time to style it before it actually completely dries, but it is suitable for completely dry hair too. So what I'm doing, just kind of bringing that right up to the top and then just moving my hair to the other side. Um, and then I'll just add in a bit more. It does say a pea-sized amount. Um, both sides. I just put in a little bit extra because I have thick hair. So sometimes it doesn't reach all the places if I don't just kind of add in a little bit more. So I'm going to bring that down. And again, part of kind of a night where you're going to be staying in, kind of doing a little bit on your skin, that kind of stuff. 
So why I kind of mentioned this is because the um, I got a deal on the ethic oil, mythic oil, sorry. Um, so it wasn't 20 for me. I think it was like 10, which even for the, for me, for an oil is a lot to pay. Um, this was um, 4 dollars in Superdrug. Um, it lasts the same amount of time. Um, you don't need a lot. I've had this for three weeks, guys, and I wash my hair a lot. And that's all I've used. And I have quite long hair. So I wanted to kind of show you guys, just to kind of, if anybody else is out there, is looking for something like this, kind of pop it in your hair if you don't have time to blow dry it, and that kind of stuff. Or even if you do, when you just want to kind of to protect it from the heat, straighteners, that kind of thing, curlers. Um, and again, as well as the Garnier um, face mask, I'll link below where you can get this at Superdrug. I presume it's at Boots. I do tend to visit Superdrug a little bit more, only because it's local to me. Um, but I wanted to kind of add that in. Um, it is got has got vitamin E. Um, and that kind of thing and um, leave in again so you don't have to worry about kind of take washing it out anything like that and the other benefit is you can use it kind of when your hair is wet and your hair is dry so another kind of added kind of um, thing to show you guys see you I definitely will see you in the next video this was the last segment thank you for watching the video I hope it was helpful to somebody please do leave your comments below on kind of face masks because as far as I'm aware and if they're not I kind of I'll try and kind of find one that is but I am trying to get animal and cruelty free makeup and um, kind of products for your skin because I do, I really do, I do support the RSPCA and I do have a monthly, ever since giving away Izzy and Millie, I have a monthly, um, I've kind of donated a monthly kind of amount each month to the RSPCA here in Oxford to support kind of their kennels and support their feed and that kind of thing. Just so I feel like I'm kind of doing something as well as giving the girls a new home. Um, but yes, that was just something I'm really kind of interested in. Is there any um, kind of face masks out there that use all natural ingredients, kind of cruelty free. So yeah, I'd be really interested to know if you found one, do please leave the comments below and I will see you in the next video.